In this experiment, we shall determine the specific heat capacity of aluminium by the method of mixtures. For this experiment, we require the following apparatus. An electric stove and a thermometer. We shall boil some water. Legging and a lid. A calorimeter and a stirrer. The aluminium block and electronic scales to measure mass. And a beaker with some cold water. We also have a stopwatch handy for later use. We start measuring the mass of the aluminium sample. And we read that the mass of this aluminium block is 19.80 grams. We now find the mass of the empty calorimeter and stirrer together. And we record that the mass of the calorimeter is 35.88 grams. We now pour some cold water into the calorimeter about 3 fourths full. And we shall now find the mass of the water and calorimeter together. And we read that the mass of the water and calorimeter is 166.69 grams. We now insert the calorimeter and water into the legging. We place a thermometer into the water so that we will read the initial temperature for the experiment. We allow some time for the temperature to set. And we read that the initial temperature is 16.0 degrees Celsius. In the meantime, the water is now boiling, and we shall put the aluminium block into the water. And we require to allow some time for the block to reach the temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. And in order to do this, we can use the stopwatch now to time about 2 minutes so that we make sure that the block heats up in the water. When we are ready, we shall transfer the block from the hot water into the calorimeter. We must do this as quickly as possible. We close the calorimeter using the lid. And we continuously stir the water so that heat is transferred from the aluminium block into the water. And therefore we know that the temperature of the water starts to rise. We must always stir the water and observe the temperature.
and we shall go for the maximum temperature reached in this process. In this experiment we note that the maximum temperature reached is 19.0 degrees Celsius. We shall record the data in a table, but we also repeat the experiment for two more times to obtain three columns of data. We shall use the heat lost by block is equal to heat gained by calorimeter and water. And because the calorimeter is also made up of aluminium, then we insert all the data and we will get three values for the specific heat capacity of aluminium. We will then find the average value, which happens to be 985 joule per kilogram per, per Kelvin. We also work out the percentage error and it happens to be 8%. The presence of sources of error will make the specific heat capacity of aluminium to be greater than the true value.